Your roadmap to the latest in auto, welcome to Highway Herald. Germany's automotive giant Volkswagen embarked on an ambitious journey towards an all-electric future back in 2019. However, five years down the line, the road to electrification seems far from smooth sailing. After the notorious Dieselgate scandal and subsequent declines in customer satisfaction, Volkswagen finds itself confronting its most significant EV-related challenges yet. Join us as we delve into six compelling reasons why Volkswagen is grappling with its biggest EV disaster yet, and why the journey has only just begun. Reason number six, reverting trends. Europeans rediscovering petrol. Sales of Volkswagen electric vehicles in Europe took a significant hit, plummeting nearly a quarter in the first quarter of the year as consumers reverted to petrol. Conversely, in China, sales surged by an impressive 91% year over year. Despite this setback, Volkswagen boasted an overall increase in vehicle deliveries by 3%, totaling 2.10 million vehicles, primarily driven by strong performance in China, South America, and North America. Hildegard Wortmann, a member of Volkswagen's Extended Executive Committee for Sales, expressed confidence amidst challenging market conditions, citing a robust delivery performance in the first quarter. Notably, the surge in orders for all electric models in Western Europe, doubling from the previous year, bolsters optimism for growth in this segment. Despite legislative efforts such as the European Parliament's approval of a new law banning petrol and diesel car sales by 2035, electric vehicle sales in Europe saw a decline in the first quarter of 2024. Challenges persist, including high costs and inadequate charging infrastructure, as highlighted by reports from Ernst & Young and the World Economic Forum, underscoring the need for concerted efforts to overcome these barriers. Reason number five, digital dilemmas, challenges in software. As a nascent technology, it's unsurprising that electric vehicles encounter teething issues upon launch. Volkswagen, despite its best efforts, faces more than its fair share of challenges in ensuring seamless functionality. Software glitches loom large, with capacitive controls posing a significant hurdle for EV makers. Embracing the trend of eliminating physical controls, Volkswagen's reliance on touch panels, notably in models like the ID4, has sparked customer discontent. Beyond infotainment system malfunctions, VW and Audi EVs grapple with issues ranging from range calculations to smartphone integration and charging logistics, leaving customers yearning for promised over-the-air updates yet to materialize for North American users. Acknowledging the gravity of these software woes, Volkswagen's management identifies them as a critical impediment to the electrification journey. CEO Oliver Bloom underscores the company's monumental transformation, likening its evolution to becoming computers on wheels. Former VW ID4 owner Brandon Flash echoes these sentiments, lamenting the software's inadequacies despite the vehicle's commendable performance. His first-hand experience, including challenges with home charging scheduling and Apple CarPlay integration, underscores the urgency for Volkswagen to address these issues swiftly. Reason number four, recall alert, the ID4 incident. In the aftermath of the Dieselgate scandal, coupled with the substantial investment required to pivot towards EVs and stay competitive, Volkswagen finds itself in a perpetual quest for cost-saving measures. While avenues for savings abound, the primary focus remains on slashing production costs, albeit challenging to conceal from discerning customers. Reports indicate widespread dissatisfaction among customers regarding the build quality of the ID4, a critical prospect for Volkswagen's future. Traditionally, Volkswagen owners lauded the brand's exceptional build quality. However, the ID4 unveiled several weaknesses, eliciting disappointment among loyalists. Concerns range from interior quality to panel gaps and alignments, undermining the car's aesthetic appeal. Of particular intrigue is the recall issued by Volkswagen following scrutiny from the National Highway Traffic Safety Association. Allegations surfaced regarding the interior sunshade's failure to meet federal motor vehicle safety standards, prompting a widespread recall of approximately 24,000 ID4 models. Volkswagen promptly notified affected owners and initiated rectification measures, applying flame retardant to the sunshade at no cost to the customers. Before we delve deeper, we'd appreciate it if you could subscribe to Highway Herald. Your support fuels our passion to create more content like this. Now, let's explore reason number three, market battle, Volkswagen struggles in China. When Volkswagen declared its commitment to full electrification, it was still the world's largest car maker, with China as its second most important market, having dominated there for two decades. Many expected Volkswagen to rival Tesla for the top spot in the EV market. 
five years later, VW faces significant challenges. Unlike Tesla, which sold 1.31 million EVs globally last year, Volkswagen's EV popularity has lagged. While slow EV adoption might not be a major issue in North America, the situation in China is vastly different. Historically, Volkswagen led the Chinese market, selling over 3 million cars annually. But as the EV transition advances, domestic companies like BYD are poised to overtake. Volkswagen is falling behind Chinese manufacturers and Tesla in the battery electric vehicle race. In 2023, although VW improved in EV sales, overall sales dropped by 7%. VW ranked 8th in China's EV market with a mere 3.3% share. In contrast, BYD holds 25% of the market and Tesla has 15%. Investor confidence in Volkswagen's EV strategy has waned, with most gains from a 60% stock surge in 2021 lost in 2022. Promises of six gigafactories in Europe by 2030 and over 2 million annual EV sales by 2025 now seem out of reach. Reason number two, the ID3 dilemma, striving for perfection. The ID3 arrived on the scene with a promise of revolutionizing Volkswagen's EV lineup, boasting a blend of compact design, affordability, robust performance, and cutting edge technology. Envisioned as the golf of the electric era, it garnered high expectations and anticipation from enthusiasts. However, reality painted a different picture, a perfect score, but in a negative light, as highlighted by Volksmaster, a reputable UK dealer who identified 10 key issues plaguing the ID3. At the forefront were software glitches, a common challenge afflicting EVs from the German manufacturer. The ID3, like its counterparts, grappled with touch-sensitive controls, resulting in complaints regarding infotainment system malfunctions and connectivity woes. Moreover, reports surfaced of software updates causing temporary disruptions in functionality. Further concerns encompassed charging network compatibility and premature battery degradation, casting a shadow over the ID3's longevity. Inconsistencies in fit, finish, and overall build quality compounded these challenges, while users bemoaned the complexity of the user interface. Volksmaster's critique extended beyond specific model issues to broader EV challenges, such as range anxiety, inadequate charging infrastructure, and concerns over customer support, service, and pricing. These issues underscored the formidable obstacles facing Volkswagen and the broader EV industry as they strive to reconcile consumer expectations with technological advancements. Reason number one, resistance roadblock, customers' hesitations. The challenge facing the EV industry is widespread, affecting legacy automakers alike. These companies grapple with the reluctance of their loyal customer base to transition to electric vehicles. Volkswagen's clientele epitomizes this dilemma, comprising conservative individuals accustomed to traditional car designs renowned for their robust build quality. Convincing such customers to embrace electric mobility proves daunting, given the perceived higher costs, reduced convenience, and concerns over reliability compared to internal combustion vehicles. Despite the growing popularity of EVs, their adoption remains sluggish, hampered by profitability challenges plaguing manufacturers. Volkswagen's recalibration of production plans underscores the impact of consumer hesitation on the industry. Forced adjustments, such as halting production and laying off temporary workers, reflect the stark reality of waning demand for EVs. Works Council Chief Manfred Wolf attributes this decline to strong customer reluctance to embrace electric mobility, precipitating a deviation from initial sales projections. Amidst Volkswagen's struggles, the European EV market exhibits promising growth, particularly evident in countries like France. Despite these bright spots, the industry grapples with formidable obstacles, navigating the delicate balance between consumer sentiment and technological advancement. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the intricacies of Volkswagen's electrification saga. Don't forget to subscribe to Highway Herald to stay informed about upcoming videos and vehicle updates. Until next time, drive safe and stay curious.